Today I've got my thoughts on set 10259, the 2017 Winter Village train station. And this I built a few weeks ago, but finally I'm getting it down to my review area. And this I was planning to save until either Christmas time or next year as my yearly retired set but due to not having the box I just broke right into this and also because the holiday train was basically fully built well it was fully built other than the little platform I wanted a full station for it and so what better way to have a station for it than the 2017 Winter Village station so We'll have a look at the five minifigs from this set, which unlike the Holiday Train, this I actually got all five of the figures from this set, which are pretty generic civilian figures, unlike the Holiday Train, which has got some pretty exclusive figures in that set. And so you've got this female barista and then this ticket person that would be inside working the ticket area inside the station and honestly I think he's probably my favorite I just like the head and torso even though those are really generic pieces I just think the combination with the scarf and just the head scarf and torso just make it look really really great and just probably just swap that hat out for a hairpiece of some sort and it would look absolutely perfect and then you've got the two civilians which are nothing too special so I actually might just swap those right into my city and then we've got the bus driver which he's nothing too special either pretty much just a train station employee which honestly that's what he'll probably be doing in my city because with this being a display model for me most of the time I am probably going to be moving all of these figures into my city so I'm just really happy to add some more figures into my Lego city. And then you also get these lamp posts with wreaths. And these are nothing overly special. I do like them, however. So I'm really happy that these are added in to the set as well. And then you get the two pre-made pine trees you get a small one and a larger one which a small one I think that's pretty common but I haven't seen a lot of the larger ones at least too often I might have to go back through my collection but I haven't seen a lot of the larger ones recently so might have to go back through and inspect some things and check that out and then the bus was actually a pretty fun build and the stickers for it weren't actually too bad and so that was a really big plus for me and I just really enjoyed building that bus. It was a pretty enjoyable build. Probably the most enjoyable build of this entire set. And then the rail crossing was nothing too special, but I'm actually thinking of taking the design from this set for rail crossing and doubling this in size and using this in my exa in my city so 
that is probably what I'm going to go with. So, taking more ideas from existing sets and using it in my own city just because I love it so much. And then for the actual station itself, overall, I just love this train station. And there isn't really anything that I could say that's bad about this set other than probably the way that the whole clock tower angled bit is built from like the base up that was probably the hardest part to build everything else though was pretty straightforward from the countless modulars that I've built in the past so that was probably the hardest part for the train station itself to build. Everything else for it went together pretty straightforward. But honestly, I would just love for LEGO to do, say, just a train station of this size. They'll probably never do one of this size anymore with the current road system. But a guy can dream, right? And if I had to really nitpick and critique anything with the train station, it'd probably be the use of the microphones and the ramp here on the end to get up to the actual platform. Because while I was building, that little bit was constantly coming out and falling apart. So, that was probably my biggest problem while I was building the train station. But, other than that, I just really love this set. And just the amount of detail that they crammed the inside with the coffee maker, the ticket area, everything. is just absolutely perfect for set this size and so that's pretty much everything that I've got for my thoughts on this wonderful 2017 Winter Village train station so you guys can tell me your thoughts on this video in the comment section below and just like and subscribe for more because I will do more in the future.